The patch note 1.8.50 just dropped on the advanced server and it has brought some major changes along with it. From Kerry getting a new demonic skin to new event assets, adjustments on our favorite heroes, we have lot to cover. So let's jump straight into the video. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will talk about the patch note 1.8.50 and everything it brought with it. Let's start the video with all the hero adjustments. Fanny, known for her high mobility and damage output, is receiving a buff to her first skill. This change increases her total physical attack bonus from 80% to 88%. It encourages players to use her first skill more frequently, making her less reliant on their ultimate ability for damage. Fanny players can now deal more damage while retaining her energy for critical moments. As ultimate has also received an adjustment. The energy cost has now been cut down by 10 and the base damage has been reduced by 140 in the late game. Uh, this change enhances our ability to engage in skirmishes and contribute to team fights without solely relying on her ultimate as a finisher. Exposed. Alice now a formidable jungler in mid to high ranks is getting a nerf due to her overwhelming clearing abilities. Specifically, her second skill damage bonus based on HP is reduced by 1% in the early and late game. Additionally, his ultimate will no longer reduce the cooldowns of her skills and the recovery on hitting non-hero units has been reduced from 50% to 30%. These nerves are aimed at bringing balance to Alice's power. The reduced damage bonus and cooldown change make her less oppressive in the early and mid game. Balmond, who has been performing too well in battle recently, is seeing a nerf. His second skill's damage, which previously increased with each subsequent hit at 12.5%, has been reduced to 7.5%. This nerf aims to bring Balmond's damage output in team fights down a notch. Edith on EXP lane is receiving a late game power buff to make her more viable. Her passive now provides bonus damage of 3-6% magic damage based on maximum HP up from the previous 4% magic damage based on maximum HP. This buff enhances at its late game potential making her a more valuable asset in extended matches. As the game progresses, her damage output increases allowing her to contribute significantly to team fights. Players who enjoy playing at it can look forward to a more impactful late game. Argus, another hero on EXP lane, is getting an early game buff. His base attack has been increased from 100 to 111 and the growth of each attack has been reduced from 4.25 to 3.5. His second skill also now affects creeps. These changes aim to make Argus a more attractive early game pick. Ability to affect creeps with his second skill might improve his farm efficiency and lane control, might even push him into the jungle. We will just taste more to find out. Sora has received adjustments to focus on her control abilities rather than burst damage. Her ultimate AoE damage bonus has been reduced from 200% magic power to 150% magic power. The control duration has been shortened from 1.5 seconds to 1 second but it's 0.2 second for every 100 magic power instead of 0.1 second. These changes aim to shift Aurora's role from burst damage to a more control-oriented hero. The reduced AoE damage means she won't instantly eliminate enemies, but the increased control duration based on magic power allows her to provide more utility in team fights. This adjustment may require players to adapt their playstyle when using Aurora. Vanvan, a hero with exceptional agility and mobility, is receiving a nerf to her passive. Her jump distance has been slightly reduced. While the nerf is not drastic, it might affect her effectiveness in close combat and the ability to escape tricky situations. Players using Vanvan may need to adjust their positioning and timing for engaging in battle. Nolan's adjustments are aimed at changing his playstyle. His passive pull buff has been reverted. And his ultimate debuff removal 
has been revoked, making this a huge nerf. But due to balance it out, the developers have boosted his damage on ultimate by 30 in the early and late games with an extra 20% physical attack bonus. With the ultimate debuff removal removed, Nolan players will need to focus more on timing and positioning to engage effectively in team fights. These changes may make Nolan a more strategic hero to play. Yin is receiving buffs to his skills. His first skills cooldown has been reduced from 10 to 7 seconds to 10 to 6 seconds. And his second skill dash distance has been slightly increased. These buffs make Yin more agile and versatile in battles. The reduced cooldown on his first skill allows him to use it more frequently, enhancing his overall damage output and utility. The increased dash distance on his second skill improves her mobility and positioning, making him a more appealing pick for players who enjoy his playstyle. Hanabi is seeing adjustments to balance her early and late game performance. Her passive bounce range has been slightly reduced. But the shield conversion rate on her first skill is boosted by 10%, enhancing her sustainability. These changes aim to make Hanabi less dominate in the laning phase while increasing her effectiveness in team fights. The reduced bounce range may require players to be more cautious in early game engagements, while the improved shield conversion encourages a more strategic approach to using her first skill in the late game team fights. Arlot is getting adjustments that affect his attack equipment gain and HP regen. His second skill's HP regen is increased from 5% to 10% of total HP to 90% to 160% of total physical attack. These changes significantly boost our load sustainability in battles. With increased HP region based on his physical attack, he becomes more durable in prolonged engagements. Let's check out all the weekly free heroes. The weekly free heroes from 5th of January to 12th of January are as follows. The extra free heroes for Starlight members are as follows. Now let's move on to all the upcoming events. First, we have the new Aspirants Phase 3 featuring Leslie and Chang Aspirants. Guys, the event we have been waiting for is here. I already have made a video covering the event, so check it out to know everything about the event. Another exciting event that is coming soon is the Attack on Titan event. I can't tell you how much I am excited for this event. If you are as excited as me, you have to check this video out because we have everything covered about the event. Let's move on to the surveys part. First, we have the special skin surveys for Silvana. The first design is named Magical Senior. She stands tall in her navy blue coat adorned with gold trims paired with tartan skirt that aids a touch of rebellious charm. Her golden locks frame a face of determination, her spear as elegant as it is deadly. The design echoes her majestic attire. The next design is called University Counselor. Silvana stands out with a unique style that's a cool mix of school pride and battle readiness. She is rocking this long grey coat with fancy gold shoulder details and a smart school beige. Her blue skirt aids a pop of colour and those high boots means she is ready for action. Her pink hair isn't just trendy. It gives her a scholarly vibe, especially with those glasses. And check out her weapon. It's not just any spear, but a magical one with bird design that's look like straight out of a legend. Moving on, we have surveys for Kerry Epic Skin. In the first design, we see Kerry poised with fierce grace. She's a fantasy warrior, draped in a symbol of tribal armor, her skin adorned with hues of purple that match the ghostly creature spiraling beside her. It's form a blend of ethereal energy and menacing intent. In the second design, her horns are gracefully above her head, signaling her supernatural origins while her attire is striking a symbol of dark leather and vibrant. 
swirling patterns in shades of crimson and amethyst the weapons she wields are not just tools of battle but works of art resonating with the same mystical energy that seems to emanate from her being next we have the surveys for a revamped model of yuzong yuzong design is undergoing a complete transformation here is a new hero model design it looks much more defined and his probe looks more like a dragon scale now the red horns and his battle armor made of dragon scales complement his design even more the new dragon form looks much more fierce now and gives the vibes of an evil dragon ready to drag you out of existence but i personally love his new dragonoid form looks like yuzong went on a diet and came out completely new in this new year with that v shaped body and ferocious facial feature his dragon tail is a very sleek touch to the design keeping updated with all the changes coming in mlbb is tough to make it easier consider hitting the subscribe button as only 38.4% have subscribed to the channel moving on to other updates we have the final artwork for revamped aurora who is all set to arrive on original server and january 31st she looks strikingly similar to elsa from frozen doesn't she and here is how her portrait will look like this is the artwork for revamped sun who is also expected to come around the end of this month we do not have confirmed dates for this one his skins are also getting redesigned and here is how his first purchase skin will look like after the revamp we also have this new border of attack of titans which can be obtained exclusively in the event along with that we can get our hands on this martis levi emote can't wait to see it animated and finished so are you excited about the new revamped aurora's release which use on do you prefer the current one or the new design share your opinion down below that will be all for this video thank you guys for watching keep supporting kazuki official